The east of England remains on amber alert and officials are advising motorists to only make essential journeys. Right, we've got no clues. We've got 6,000 miles of snowy icy roads in Norfolk. We've got no deadline to hit by 5 to 12. And here she is. I can see the whites of her eyes and the pink of her lip gloss. She's in the studio, it's Becky Betts. It's snug as a bucket in a rug. <laughs> it's so warm, it's lovely. I'll just stop this music, we don't need it. There's no drama, we're not doing <laughs> Treasure Quest. So I always like to make sure we do a, a different area of Norfolk each week if we can. So first of all, I'll choose somewhere, perhaps somewhere we've not been to for a few weeks. And if there's a particular event uh, happening in a place, that's always very good. So say there was um, uh, a fair or something happening in Downham Market, I might choose that as, as one uh, point to sort of lynch the quest around. And then I would choose four or five other locations that I could set up that, that were all within range for that particular quest. Uh, people often write in and suggest clue locations. We, we quite often mention on the programme that if uh, someone's got an idea of a clue location they'd like to suggest for the programme, they can write to me. And this is a letter I've had from someone, so uh, I will I will see what this person says. Um, it's, uh, ooh, it's about uh, a ringing room extension and carpeting uh, dedicated to someone's memory which is happening at a church in March and uh, that's our Sunday and uh, someone's uh, sent me a note about it asking if we could send Becky along to have a clue there that morning which uh, might well be possible I, I, I've not got my notes of where we're I don't think I've got anything planned for this particular date yet I'm not mentioning exactly where it is because this might go in the film and Becky might uh, might watch it <laughs> if they're small villages I might usually phone the parish council and say is there somewhere in your village that might be an interesting place to have a clue and someone who could have a clue there for us and then uh, once I've got four or five all set up and um, within range of each other I'll, uh, I'll, I'll write the clues and, and send them out to the clue holders usually on a Thursday so they've got a couple of days to get there really and then on Friday morning I'll email uh, Becky and Ian to let them know where their starting point will be on Sunday so they know when they when they have to come in and uh, that's that really we're all, we're all set and ready to go this is treasure quest and this is the way it works there are five clues leading them to a treasure located somewhere in norfolk uh, they have until exactly five minutes to 12 not a second over to find that treasure uh, today they have no maps or navigation aids of any kind in the radio car to assist them with this david does have maps he has a large-scale norfolk navigator and a street atlas of norfolk for the closer in view of the towns and villages but uh, that's uh, all the the assistance he's allowed he's not allowed to go online and look at google or wikipedia or facebook or anything along those lines he's entirely reliant on the help provided by you we filter your calls we, we give david um a reflection of what you're saying we give him some right answers some wrong answers and he and becky and ian must decide what advice they're going to follow and where they're going to go to get the next clue and ultimately the treasure exclamation mark another such measure makes you richer exclamation mark so come on then norfolk if there's anything jumping out at you where we need to go next call us 01603 617 321 we're going to Blunderstone. Delphine, thank you for pulling that one out of the first <laughs> thank line. Thank you, Delphine. Just That's a minute. actually very clever. A couple more calls, Becky. Let's just let's see if we can hone this one. Sue, um, would you concur? Um, well, I was thinking at the pound in Blunderstone. The what? Uh, the pound where they used to put the cattle that strayed. Thank you um, very much. I think, well, everyone, we've solved this. So we think the clue might be here. But can you get in the pound? No. Is it? Well, I'm going to have to know is for the clip for the white envelope. For oh, there it is. We've got the wooden gate, which is locked, but peeking out behind it is clue two. <laughs> One for the boatman of local repute. One who goes this way and that on his route. One who goes this way. And that on his route. One who's most famous could be right. One who's most famous could be right. Where they all meet, look for something white. Where they all meet, look for something white. Right, is there a well-known boatman within a 10 mile radius? One who goes this way and that on his route is the Weaver's Way. And one who's most famous could be right is the Angle's Way. So a right angle they all meet outside Great Yarmouth Railway Station, says this answer. The only thing is I can't confirm that on my map. It doesn't say. But we're just going to have to take Katie's uh, word for it and hope, because it's so right, that uh, it's got to be right, if you see what I mean. We're going to Yarmouth Railway Station on the, on the principle and solely on the principle. The Wherryman's Way, the Weaver's Way and the Angle's Way all meet around there.
Katie was exactly right. Beck and Ian did find the next clue outside Yarmouth Railway Station at the Three Ways meeting point. The next two clues took them on to Clipsby and then to Blowfield, where they found the final clue. With the clock ticking down towards 5 to 12, we catch up with Becky and Ian on their way to Brundle, hoping to find the treasure in time. Hello, lovely to meet you, Janet. Hello. We okay. think that you might have the treasure for Treasure Quest, and we've got a few... How many minutes, David? Seven. Seven minutes to find the treasure. Well, you know what you're looking for, don't you? Um, a boat. A, a, a boat. Tra trans tra transport to go with the setting. Right. Oh, this is stunning. How gorgeous. I can't see a boat, and there's lots of different pathways. It's not as straightforward as you think. No, OK. I can see a boat. You can see a boat. A left... It's a blue rowing boat. That's good. Oh, look, it's like a mill, but it's gorgeous. So we've got the... We've got the blue um, rowing boat on the side, and we've got the treasure! <laughs> Open it as well. Do you know what? A lot of Treasure Quest fans have been complaining lately that I don't give you nice treasures very often. I promise to rectify this at some point in the future <laughs> from the Quest Master. <laughs> well, that's just charming. Party going on around here.